Hi, my name is Dr. Robin Abramzik and I'm a biological dentist in Heath, Texas. The name of my practice is Smile Ranch Dentistry. And today I would like to share with you about the protocol that we follow whenever we remove mercury fillings. Mercury is the most toxic, non-radioactive element in the world. It's very disruptive to biological systems. It's disruptive to enzymatic pathways, hormone pathways, and a lot of patients complain about idiopathic symptoms. So they come in saying, I don't know what's going on. I feel either depressed, fatigued, or they might feel a little bit irritable. It's also very disruptive to the liver, the kidney, and the gut. In fact, it leads to gut inflammation. Whenever we have gut inflammation, or systemic inflammation, actually it down regulates detoxification. So it's very important as we remove a mercury filling that we are protecting our patients and ourselves. So to start, we put our patients on a nitrous nose, but we only use oxygen and we put it on 100% medical grade oxygen to protect the patient from inhaling mercury vapors. We also use an external ionizer, and this picks up the excess particles whenever we're removing the mercury. But most of it is removed through the other things that we're going to talk about. We use an external vacuum with our patients. So this is placed right at the patient's chest so that it will pick up the excess mercury vapors. This is called an isolate. This is a wonderful device because as we place it in the patient's mouth, it actually props their mouth open. It reflects the soft tissue. It also suctions at the same time. We also use what's called a dental dam. This is made of nitrile. Mercury can actually leak through latex and some patients actually have a sensitivity to latex. So we do use the nitrile dental dam and nitrile gloves. The, the way that we remove the mercury is with a carbide burr and we chunk it out in large pieces so that we don't have a lot of particles. The, one of the main concerns as we're removing these is inhalation of the mercury vapors. So we make sure that we chunk it out in very large pieces. This is called a cleanup tip and it actually sits over the tooth and this is connected to the high suction. So that one particular tooth is isolated with both the dental dam and with a cleanup tip. So the mercury is suctioned up quickly into the um, suction piece, the cleanup tip here. As it goes through the tubing, it actually goes into an amalgam separator in the back so that we're also protecting the environment. Once we remove all of the mercury, we, we use these Mercon wipes. We change out our gloves, we wipe down the hand pieces, we take the burr off, we wipe down the surfaces and the dental instruments with Mercon wipes, and then we place it in a drum. This is a hazardous container here that we open up quickly while we're still in our uh, uniform here, and we close, uh, close it up quickly. And we change our gloves. These again are nitrile gloves. So what we wear to protect ourselves, we have a gown on, we also have a hood, we're breathing through a respirator mask, and then we also change out these filters whenever this indicator turns a different color, more of a green color, we change those out and we keep a close eye on that. Before we restore the tooth with biocompatible materials, we ozonate the tooth. So we use ozone gas here and we just ozonate the tooth before we place our restoration. All right, thank you so much to joining us today. There will be a second part. We'll talk about detoxification. And please contact us at Smile Ranch Dentistry if you're interested in having yours removed.